Water-based paints. These are the most widely used form of body paints, and there are many ranges of color, and all are based on the same principle. It can be already wet, or in a tube or a pump. It can also be like this, a cake of color. I want to paint the model's arm, so I'm using a one and a half inch flat square-ended brush. With the dry color, it's really important to warm up the paint before use. Wet the brush and really massage it into the color and keep on adding water and moving the brush around until you have a consistency like mayonnaise. Now you're ready to paint and the paint is thick enough to give a good coverage. It's very easy to create a clean edge with a big, flat, square-ended brush as you paint. Be aware of keeping your edges very strong. Try to make your model's arm or your arm look like this. Clean, clear, and very well-defined, with no streaks in the paint, solid color. This section focuses on blending. Again, massage the paint, warm it up, and load the brush. Keep the lines clean and tidy, and paint a series of thick bands of a contrasting color down the forearm. They need to be as wide as the brush, it's again, it's the same one and a half inch brush. Use the sides of the brush to keep your lines clean. And you can use your fingers to help you balance, but obviously don't put your fingers on the wet paint. Use your little finger on clean flesh to keep you still. And now use a contrasting color to fill in the spaces. And although this is a section about blending, just use the practice to keep the lines strong and clean. You can see that I have a good coverage. Make sure that you have the same. Work the paint with the brush, remembering that you want quite a thick consistency. I'm going to show you different ways of blending for each of the lines. The first is with a brush. Have a tissue ready. The brush has some of the lighter color. Follow the line where the colors meet, but going over into the blue, and always work in the same direction. Start to melt the colors together. On the next band, 
Start with a clean, damp, but not wet brush. Lifting the colour up and blending, softening the edges together. And then pull the colour down with the damp brush and then across again until the blend is complete. Dry the brush and the final strokes will blend really well. Using your finger with paint is another way of blending. Dampening the finger, applying it to the paint, and then using that to pull the colours together. What you're doing is you're softening it again, you're wetting it and mixing it. And a stipple sponge gives yet another more textured root. This time I'm starting with the darker colour and pulling the darker colour up into the lighter colour. Keep practicing these techniques on different parts of the body until you feel more confident. And there you can see different ways of blending. And then up into a solid band of color. 